Hi, welcome to Crockville Research Site in Evesham, Worcester. My name's Phil Dick, I'm the Research Manager for Barnbrook UK. Crockville is home to our Winter Sports Testing Programme and today we're going to look at the development of our Winter Sports Mixtures, but in particular, RPR Stadium. Every year we carry out a simulated wear trial which helps us develop RPR Stadium. Now this is on things such as current mixtures and cultivars, as well as new breeding material that comes out of Holland and France. The winter sports wear trial here is designed to simulate a standard football or winter sports season. The plots are sown out around April time with three replications. The number of treatments varies depending on how much we want to look at in a given year, depending on what's coming out of the breeding stations. However, this is kind of around 25 different treatments within cultivars and mixtures. Once the plots are fully established, we then wear them using a simulated wear machine from September to April, taking monthly assessments. Firstly, I'll take a visual assessment, um, which is a one to nine scale, and I just sort of assess it on how good I think the plot looks. However, we need to take a scientific assessment, and for that, we use a specialist piece of research equipment called a di digital image analysis box. Using this box, we can create a consistent environment to keep our data reliable. By taking a picture of each plot during wear, we can run it through a specialist piece of software that gives us an accurate ground cover score, but also can detect the color of green within the plots. These are obviously two of the main important traits when selecting a grass mixture for a stadium environment. After the wear phase, from May to June, we assess the plots for recovery, which is essentially the exact same process using the DIA digital image analysis box and visual assessment scores, but we just don't have the wear machine applying wear. We now have three years data to uh, back up the RPR stadium mixture, and our recent trial has just been sown out, and this will continue to build on this data for further improvements of our mixtures. This information at Crockville, along with the data that is collected at STRI with the BSPB, will continue to ensure that the data that is put into the RPR stadium mixtures is of the highest standard. To give you an idea of the ability of RPR, which stands for regenerating perennial ryegrass, we actually plant individual RPR plants using one seed at nice spacings. This allows us to assess its ability to spread out. We use these to assess current cultivars in RPR stadium, but also new breeding material. You can physically dig one up and see it spreading with determinate stolons. Please feel free to get in contact if you want to see RPR and the rest of Crockville site in action. 